Greetings, greetings. We back. Um, told you that's why I'm fuck with live, man. Well, all that talking last message too, and I'm like halfway through. <laughs> Let's continue. So, why Masters Karmic Situation Part Two Continuation? It's gonna be a good ass reading. Feminine ain't gonna get this much attention. <laughs> so. Masculine, you in regards to yourself and your mystery madness or karma or subconscious energy in regards to yourself, you got the two of cups. Overall energy, you was ten of cup and you was happy because of a person you was rolling with or something you was rolling with or a thing you was rolling with. Whatever this is, got a lot to do with a connection. And in the last message, I was talking about the eight of cups that the divine masculine had. Uh, in regards to the feminine energy and the same energy, subconscious, karma, karmic, or indirect energy, right? So you see how the Eight of Cups is Enterprise. It's probably the bell card, but I used it as Enterprise in the last example. Four of Cups, Four of Cups. This is Eight of Cups, a connection within this, uh, this Enterprise thing. Like a lot of your, I would say, connections are enterprise related. A lot of your connections have come from you basically okay. Cards mixed up. Okay. <clears throat> a lot of this happiness is coming from a particular connection that you have. And whatever this connection is, you're gonna enterprise with. So once again, masculine. A lot of you that's been like I say getting good on your physical health, dieting, really just Switching to a whole different healthy alternative lifestyle. It's like you got so advanced to now you can coach people in it. You can teach people in it. You know, whatever this thing that's bringing you life right now, it's definitely enterprise related. As it should be. Because like I said, this happiness comes from within. I broke that shit down last message. You know, um, you're just taking it all in. So really, with a lot of this two of cups, has a lot to do with is the manifestation. Two of Cups can also be a relationship, a connection between you and your twin flame, between you and your clientele, you know, you and your staff now, you know, you and your child, you and God, you and yourself. I just take the Two of Cups as yourself. You're fucking with yourself the long way, You're taking yourself to a whole another level. Where manifestations are way more prevalent. You see by fucking with yourself. You see by dealing with yourself. You know, being alone. You see by a few modifications of your actions and your behavior, masculine. You turn your situation all the way around. You might have the same physical property of your life, but a lot of things about yourself has changed. Your, 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 your feelings, your mood, your mind, thoughts, decisions, the way you're going with things. Like, masculines are really in a heart and mind department. That's the feminine arena. When masculines step into their feminine arena, it just makes you a whole new creature. It changes you into a whole other person. You evolve like a Pokemon. When feminines get out their heart and mind arena, where they be at a lot, they get to the divine masculine's realm, which is wands, actions, behavior, pinnacles, manifestations. Masculine just manifested something by having his heart aligned with something, by being connected to something. He's in his, like I say, the feminine energy while manifesting, doing what he do best. You know. Matter of fact, every card masculine has out here is sword or cup related. So masculine, like I say, it's just I just see holistic. You just hold. You hold in ways you ain't been whole in a long time. You look better in a way you ain't looked in a long time. You feel good in a way you ain't felt in a long ass time. And this shit is, like I say, just propelling you to want more and more of this, to be surrounded by this. You know, keep people who are interested in a like minded, you know, who like minded as you are interested in the same thing you're interested in too. Like, you just fuck with a whole new tribe. You fuck with a whole new way of life. And it's cool, man. With you directly, consciously. As far as yourself, we got the truth here. Love, 
And truth is the light that illuminates everything you need to know. You know what I mean? Secrets come out. Cats come out of bags. You know? Truth sets you free. What is truth does? It's just like the whole death rant I gave in the last message. Because death is, a, is mental. It's something you register. Swords are shit you register. Just like you got to register death, you got to register the truth. You can play dumb to the truth all you want to. You just be hurting yourself. You just putting yourself in a position to hurt yourself. <laughs> Understand what I'm saying? Like, seven of swords. That's, that's truth. Truth of the matter is, yeah, you feel good. Yeah, you reached a, a pinnacle when it comes to yourself. Once again, this is all your shit. When it comes to how you connect with other people, that's a different story. When it comes to what you're doing for other people, that's another story. You're doing good for yourself, but like I say, now's the time to help others, to put other people on. You've done marvels for yourself in your situation. Cool beans. Now would be the perfect time to start helping others, putting other people on. Giving other people this gift that you just stumbled off, the secret that you just uncovered. You know what I'm saying? Truth is, like I say, you change, you got to change all across the board. You can't just be feeling good and thinking good thoughts. You're the king of wands, right? So actions and behavior, you're the king of that shit. Like I say, it's all about modifying them actions and behavior, baby. Keep going. Don't stop. You just evolved from a level two Pokemon to a level four Pokemon. Get to eight. Keep going. It's the infinite. There is no glass ceiling to the infinite. There is no limitation on how far you can involve yourself. There is no limitation on how far you can dive deep into. So I've been telling my asking from the gate, like, I'm a psychic only because I dive deep into knowledge and into truth. I'm passionate about truth. I'm passionate about knowledge. I'm passionate about a lot of shit. And these passions get me diving deeper in the, in the rabbit hole. I, I, I never needed a pass. Everything that I came up on, like, I'm getting spirit guided and shit, you know, through God. Christ consciousness and stuff like that, but majority of this is reading. Reading. I didn't summon shit. I ain't partner up with no fucking body. I ain't never got a reading. You know what I'm saying? Like, I do readings. I told myself, I'm gonna learn how to do readings before I need one. It's so. <laughs> I just keep getting better and better. But now I should say this truth. Truth sets you free. Truth is, you got your heart and mind aligned. But now it's time to really put an action on a direction that you really want to go. You just broadcast it. You ain't even saying nothing because the eight of wands ain't even out here. It's like the way you feel inside, you feel more joy. You feel so wonderful. You feel happy. You feel emotionally content. But truth always settles in. Truth is, you, sh you still got other shit you got to focus on. You can't just put all your focus on yourself. That's where enterprise come in. That's where path, that's where purpose come in. Help other people. Why? So you can start the journey of your influence on people's lives. You just change your life for the, for the best. Each one, reach one. Reach one person. Reach two. Reach three. Reach a dozen. Reach a whole population. Reach a whole community. You can do all that off just you just helping yourself that first bump. Future final row. Wrapping this up. You got the Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands is like I said in the beginning when I did the whole Ten of Swords, how ten, uh, ten of Swords are permanent endings, how Ten of Swords are beyond you, how Ten of Swords have to be registered. Ten of Wands is a temporary ending. This is shit you pump the brakes on yourself. This is shit you stop before you get in too deep. This is pulling away before you get hurt or caught up. You half fast made a decision. You was going to go through with it, but now you're thinking clearly and it'd be smart for you to just not do it at all. Why half-ass something? You ain't prepared. You ain't ready. Why go forward with it? You have the chance now to pull out and try it again other than to just jag it and risk fucking your shit up when you had an opportunity to not even hop on stage, to not even do what you're doing. This is all subconscious, indirect, karmic shit. Masculine. I told you. Truth is... You're doing good and all with yourself. That's what's up. But it's it's just something you're going to have to stop doing. Something you're passionate about, you're going to have to stop doing. It's subconscious. Whatever it is you're passionate about, that you're going to have to leave the fuck alone. It's just a little shift. 
and action. Decisions you making, cool. What you feeling, cool. All right? It's just how you're going to go about doing it how, or how you go about doing things is, is the kicker here. Something you're going to have to modify. Like you right at the cusp. Ten of Wands. This is closure. Next step after this is the Knight of Wands. That's moving fast and fiercely towards your divine direction or being in a place to be. As I like to call it, being in a place to be is just being exactly where you were meant to be. You found your path. You found your purpose. Obviously, it was meant for whatever happened to transpire for you to get this, this understanding, for you to get this grand awakening and shit like that. You find the help you're looking for. You find the business partner you're looking for. You find yourself. You find your complaint. You find God. Whatever you find. Like I said, it only happens from you being in the place to be. This is the path you want. You're getting deeper in the rabbit hole. You're getting further and further to where you need to be. The higher you get up in the suspension process, the less people there. These less people you know. It's going to be more uncommon folk than common folk. Say that shit one more time. It's going to be more uncommon folk around and on your path and on your journey than common folk. What is it you need to pump the brakes on? Let's get specific on this. Five of Cups. This is loneliness, <sighs> emotional isolation, the hermit card, you know, isolation, or you just being in a class by yourself, and that's what you are. It's the whole breakdown I just gave. Divines are in a class by themselves. That's the curse of the divine. The higher you go up, the less people are going to be around. What I mean by that is the more people you, like, the higher you go up, everybody gonna think you crazy. Everybody gonna think you an outcast. Like everybody gonna think you extreme from your way of thinking, or extreme for you doing what you're doing, or extreme for what you into. They don't understand what you into. You up here, they just looking in the sky. It's not like they looking at you eye to eye. Thus, they on the same plane as you. Seeing what the fuck you doing up here. It's a spectator. They're down here. You up here. They spectate. And you're spectacular. <laughs> They're not going to get it, okay? Can't ostracize yourself off this path. See, masters have a way of self-sabotaging self, self shit. Or, like I say, I call it being righteous or being the martyr, okay? And what that shit means is like, I told you, your master is evolving. Your master is starting to see, damn, the higher I do get up in consciousness, the better that I do do life like the less people that's around it's a lot of good shit that happens in a divine life but it's not that many people we can share these experiences with that's why twins appear in our life and be in our life for them to be the listening ear for them to be the critic for them to be the you know what i mean like the, the partner you know what i mean like you never by yourself the twin flame is always with you God is always with you. And your fourth fifth dimensional self is always with you. It's a holy trinity that surrounds you all day. It's other angels and spirits that surround individuals and shit like that. Like, you ain't never by yourself. Alright? So stop saying that it's just you out here when it ain't. That's not the truth. Seven of Swords. It's not the truth. Truth is, you got help. Truth is, you got more than enough help. Truth is, you got love all around you. True love, like divine, unconditional love all around you. You got help. You need to just pump the brakes on like I said, ostracizing yourself. You feel like by you finding the true path in life and by the fact that it ain't people on this path, by the fact that you are lonely, that it's supposed to be that way. Maybe I'm supposed to be one of myself. Maybe it's just never going to work out. Maybe it is just path over purpose with me. It's path over purpose purpose with me, like me personally. That's why I kind of stay dolo. That's why I kind of stay, like, kind of isolated. Like I say, it's the, it's the gift of the divine. Like, it's purpose over person with me for right now. Now, eventually, it's going to be purpose still, but persons included. And this whole path, purpose, living thing, you know, but it's a conscious choice that I'm making to put my path over people, to put, like, 
what I do for God over like everything. Over everything. That's real motherfuckers. Like, like I say, higher you go up, less motherfuckers gonna be around. It's only a few motherfuckers that can, that can even understand that statement. You know? Like, you get to a new plateau. And final cardio message, you're gonna have to King of Pentacles. This is you directly going to the future. Own up to all this shit. Own up to your twin flame demo. It's been very instrumental in your life. It's changed you to a whole nother person. For twins, divine masculine that's been in the game for a long ass time. It's acknowledgement time. You ain't gotta acknowledge it to your divine feminine. Nah, you doing everything else internal. Nah, this is some internal shit yourself. Acknowledge it. This shit changed my life. If it wasn't for this shit, I wouldn't be in the avenues and nooks and crannies and corners that I'm at now. I wouldn't have this mentality. I wouldn't have this moment right here. Like everything happens for a reason. Your twin flame situation has been very instrumental to your life. Your twin flame. Your divine feminine has been very instrumental to your life. Acknowledge it. Now here go the flip karmic sign. Your karmic. You know the one that you fuck with tough. The one that you've been fucking with for years. The one you keep going back and forth to. Obviously, y'all got some shit going on. I can't knock her. She probably a good karma. Putting up with your ass. You know what I mean? This is you acknowledging that she helped you. She was a good girl. I didn't want her at the time. I was just finessing her and using her. I really didn't see her for who she really was. Till now. I can at least acknowledge that. Instead of just calling her crazy, writing her off. Like, you can't write people off no more. You're divine. You can't write nobody off. Everything people do, you got to find some type of commonality with that. Like I said before, like what Kevin Samuels does, I kind of do that too. But the difference I do is I put us on the same level. What Jesus used to do. It's like Jesus and Mary Madeline. He's a prostitute. He's the fucking son of God. Like, <laughs> like to other people, like, ugh. She shouldn't even be in your presence. Like, what type of fucking son of God are you to just permit and promote this type of shit? She a woman at the end of the day. Probably how Jesus is looking at it. Number two, motherfucker, who is you to judge? Number three, I got unconditional love for everybody. I fuck with everybody. You understand what I'm saying? Like, I'm pretty sure Jesus acknowledged that shit. Probably ain't wrote in the Bible, but I'm sure he acknowledged that shit. Like, yo, I fuck with everybody. Like, I bet they looked at Jesus cool and was like, bruh. <laughs> to be the son of God, son. You sure all got some common folk in your crew, but that's what the fuck it's about. You, you fuck with everybody. Karmics, King of Pinkle, what's that? Karmic masculine. Karmics included. If you was fucking with a karmic feminine, then you was her karmic masculine, son. You wasn't her divine masculine. That ain't how it worked. Hold on one second. Anyway, any rate, um, ownership. That's what the King of Pentacles is, is an owner. As in ownership, or King of Pentacles as in, like, you take ownership in things, or like I say, you will own it. You enterprise it, you start your LLC, you start your company. You buy that food truck, you buy that product to sell, whatever it is, like, you, you become an owner. That's all starting your own business, non-profit, for-profit, that's all it is, it's really just... Creating your system. It's a small system right now. But it can evolve to a whole corporation. A bigger system. Maybe it might, a bigger system might buy this shit off. And then you create another little system to get bought off again. And just the king of creating systems. Like whatever you got going on, masculine, you can master that shit. And that's really what the king of pentacles is. Is you're directly going to the future. King of pentacles is a master manifesto. A person that can manifest whatever the fuck they want. Like an alchemist, like a magician. You know what I mean? You got the power. All you gotta do is own up to it. Like a lot of shit, all you gotta do is accept. A lot of shit in your life is just, it's already there. Like what you're looking for, what you want, what you've been grinding for, like half the things are there already. You just gotta accept them. It's like gifts. Hey, I don't know who these gifts are, but these look pretty nice. They've been sitting at this table for a whole week. Nobody claimed them. Damn, that's my name. All these are mine? Like, damn, my bad. Yeah, they mine. Claimed. 
Now you can go. Man. Half the shit that's in this unclaimed package box is shit you've been wanting, shit you've been looking for. Once the future masculine, you are going to be the author of your own life. Congratulations. You finally stopped giving a fuck about what people think. Huh. You finally separated yourself from all that tradition and that culture and, and them rules and regulations that just didn't work for you. They, they didn't fit you. Probably worked for your brother, your sister, your mother, everybody else in the fucking family. The rules really don't apply to you. The rules really can't apply to you. And you finally accepted it. You're getting joy from your self. And that's the truth. It's a new place. But you're welcome. <laughs> that's the message I got. I hope I could be a good use. Let me hurry up and get this permanent done uh, real quick. I'll let y'all in a second.